The famous 303 Squadron opened its account on the afternoon of the 30th of August 1940. It was around 4.15 p.m. And they were flying along doing their kind of endless patrol work that they'd been doing up and down protecting the kind of north side of London because um, they were operating out of North Holt. Um, and all of them were just tearing their hair out at this point. They were just desperate to get into the fray and just couldn't understand why they weren't being allowed to get stuck into the battle. And uh, Ludwig Paskevich at the time spotted a whole load of German bombers and fighters up above them. They were operating at about 10,000 feet at that point, so 5,000 feet above them. Um, and he called out to Boozy Kellett, who was the squadron commander at the time, and said, look, there's these bombers up here. But Boozy Kellett didn't reply. So Paskevich just thought, to heck with it, I'm just going to go for it. Stuck, peeled off from the rest of the formation, climbed up, went in right behind a Messerschmitt, got as close as he possibly could so he could barely miss, opened fire, shot him down. And that was the first victory for 303 Squadron. Later on that day, uh, you know, he was severely reprimanded and, and ticked off and all the rest of it. But at the same time, Boozy Kellett recommended to the Air Ministry and to Fighter Command that it was time that 303 Squadron were made fully operational. Later, Paskevich was you know, congratulated for scoring the first victory. 303 Squadron were made officially operational, and the rest, as they say, is history.